Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be looking at creating an API route in the back end, uh, two ways actually. One to just give a simple response back, uh, whether it be, uh, you know, JSON or whether we're just sending back an arbitrary string or whatever it might be, something pretty basic. And then we're also going to look at how to send back HTML uh, or also Pug or Jade as some people know it. So let's go ahead and look at that. So currently on the back end, everything lives in the server and everything lives in modules. So currently we only have three modules. We have the users module, which handles all user login, user authentication, all that fun stuff. And then we have the blog, which is uh, just our example of, you know, how to write a simple API backend with a controller module routes and a spec file. Basically, this gives you all the options of CRUD functionality. You can look through it. It's a great example to run through. But we want to look at the system right now. So the system kind of has what we want to do right now. It has an example of how to write a pug response, which is just HTML, which is a templating engine, uh, pug is, or just a simple response in general. So first thing we want to do is we want to go to the system router. Every module has a system.routes similar to the Angular front end. And we know this because of the word, the identifier in the middle, routes. Uh, just because it says routes, we know we need to run it a different way, which allows us to also then pass in the app, the auth, which holds all of our middleware, pass in the mailing options and the settings to the entire system. So because it's named like that, we are able to do these nice things with it. So we'll then come in here and just say app.get, and let's say we want to do a API trial, so slash API slash trial. And that's our route. That's what we want to run. And we want it to just be, we could really just sit right here, write a function, open it up, response, request. But that's not really what we want to do because this isn't the practice we've set up or the style. Uh, we've set up the style to live, have every, all of these functionalities live inside of the controller. Uh, the, all of the middleware lives in the auth variable, but all of the, our controller functions live in the system uh, variable, which is directly correlated to our controller. So we're going to want to take this, and we're going to actually want to call a function right here. So let's say it's system.trial. And let's go over to the system controller. Let's go back and save this real quickly. And let's create exports dot trial. We don't need the system. Let's say it equals a function. I'm just gonna copy this function from above and just start with that. All right, that's great. I'm gonna save this, have standard JS fix the styling for us. And we're just gonna have this respond back with the same Data is above, but we're gonna say, hey, respond back with the name trial this time. So let's save that. Let's copy this route. Let's go over here. Nothing found in the API because uh, the backend didn't restart, even though it should have. I must have had, oh no, I had MPM start up there. Oh well, didn't want to listen for the moment. But that's fine. So now we refresh it and you'll see it responds back with a variable called trial with all of the query parameters. So that's our first step. Let's go on to step number two. Let's look at adding a, another HTML file. Or not an HTML file, but rendering and sending back an HTML file. So let's change this into uh, a pug file like to send back much like above. And actually, we can actually just utilize above. So I'm going to undo this trial because we don't need it now. So you'll see in the API settings, it actually uses this. So we actually don't need to go create one. We'll just use this example. And it looks like what it does is it sends back, if you hit API settings, I'm just going to copy that for a moment because we'll need it. It looks like it sends back a pug.render file. And for those of you who have ever used pug or jade, this will look extremely familiar. For those of you who haven't, uh, go Google pug 
or Jade right now. I will try to leave it in the description for you. Uh, and what it does is it's a template engine that you have to follow their style and you can pass some data into it, some settings, whatever it might be, and then it will render the HTML for you. So in this case, it looks like we're using settings.view.pug, which you can find right there in the module. And we're passing in a variable called settings with all of the settings in it. So it looks right here like if you come to this page, we are going to give a title mean stack settings, ULI, and we're going to give a list of different uh, indexes. And not indexes, but different settings. So let's try it out. Let's go check it out. Save this. Let me go grab the proper URL for it. And there we go. So as, <laughs> as grim as this looks and not as great as we want it to be, here is a list of the settings we have. So uh, as you can see, it's just a unordered list of different variables that we have set up and it looks like we you know you can see the environment we're in the route we're in the IP address the SEO the, the helmet all these different type of fun things and this is all possible uh, through the back end none of this is being responded to the front end or let me take that back none of this is uh, like sent out and then compiled to the front end it's compiled before it's sent out which is totally different than what we do with angular with Angular, we send out all the raw files, send them all out, and then once you as a user loads the page, the Angular runs and all the routes run and everything then sets up. But this is already ready to go in the sense of it's much like the idea of PHP. Everything's done, the back end port sent out. So realistically, if you as the user wanted to create a much more, I wouldn't say much more, but a, a site where you control everything and none of it's left up to the users to maybe inject or take or manipulate and you want to handle everything well you can just do pug routes all over the place and uh, handle it that way so that's it for this tutorial we showed you both ways and we talked about it we created one way and we just talked about the other way because it's already in settings but it's it's all there for you if you have any questions feel free to find us on the github or social media or on this video